Okay, so we're gonna move on to the tail braid. It's important to have the tail fully brushed out before you start and pay particular attention to brushing out all this back part here because that's where you're gonna be pulling the hair from. Also, you want it to be nice and wet so that you can make it as tight as possible. Um, it's really easier to just bring your bucket of water to the back with you so you can stop and wet as you go as needed and make sure you're getting the back part wet because that's where you're going to be pulling the hair from. All right, so once you're nice and wet, ready to go, you can start at the top. Just want to grab two little pieces and cross them over. You can grab your third piece from the middle, like from here, but I like to grab it from the side. I find it holds the top in more tightly. This part is a bit painstaking just because the braid is so tiny in your hand. So just grab little pieces, take your time, because this is really the foundation of your braid, so you want it to be as sturdy as possible. Don't pull too tight up here either. The hairs are a bit more fragile, so you don't want them breaking off. Um, and that's just an important note for tails. If you want your horse's tail to last the whole season, don't leave the braid in overnight because it will definitely pull the hairs out and you're gonna run out of hair to braid with. Um, Really, I recommend only braiding for special classes because it is just so hard on them. Um, and another note, if you're putting a fake tail in, you would do it before you start braiding. Um, but I don't have a fake tail, so I can't show you. So then you just keep going, grabbing little pieces. You can smooth down the sides as you go. Some horses will lift and twist their dock while you're braiding, like she's doing a little bit. Um, just try to ignore. If they're twisting really badly, just hold your hand as steady as possible. Don't pull harder, because it's just gonna make them twist harder. So it is a bit frustrating and hard to do, hard to braid when they do that, but it's not very nice feeling, I imagine, so just be kind. Okay, so once you get near the bottom, you wanna stop the braid either at the end of their dock so you can feel for it, or if they have kind of a funky dock, I like to stop kind of where they're, not thigh gap, but you know, <laughs> thigh gap. Um, Cause that is, that's how you know that the braid is long enough and it's gonna look pretty. So I just have a few more to go here. A um, couple other notes, once the tail pieces start getting a bit longer, it's a lot easier to pull it tight. So definitely utilize that like around these parts. Um, just get it as tight as you can. You also want the braid to be nice and straight down the middle, um, which can be tricky if they're twisting. So uh, just be patient. Um, so yeah, and then once you get to the very bottom, I'm almost there. Um, there are a couple ways of tying up the tail. 
Um, just kind of depending on what's in style. You can do a pinwheel, um, but most commonly around here, we just do a wrap around. Um, but that's kind of, depends on what's in style in the area. All right, so I'm gonna stop there. It's a bit short, but just for the sake of the video. So then you, you're gonna stop pulling side pieces. So you stop your French braid and you just do a normal braid and you want it to be the right length to wrap around the tail. That's the one I'm gonna show. Um, so you just kind of keep going down. I normally measure it before I put the yarn in. Once I can get to the front of the tail, I put yarn in and I'll braid 10 more crossovers. And then tie it off just like we did with our hunter braids. Oops, there we go. All right, so now we're ready to wrap it around. So what we do is you want it, you want it to cover the full part that's braided. So you just kind of twist it around, do a little knot like this. Since we measured before, when you pull it tight, the end of your braid should be at the back of the tail because you don't want to see where the knot is. So you just kind of have this pretty overlap in the front. And then we're gonna use our latch hook again. Just grab the yarn and you're going to stick this. Yeah, You're just gonna stick it in the back of the tail underneath and then pull the yarn up like that so it's nice and tight and then you can do double knot like this if you're getting a little part that sticks out like this some tails do it some are soft and don't um, you can always do a little loop underneath with just the yarn to tie it securely and that'll help it lay nice and flat. And then just tie it off, not too tight. There. And then you'll just cut that little, the little tail off. Like that. And you're done.